Hello and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Woohoo! Uh, that's right, yeah, get a little woohoo. <laughs> so last time out we'd been to the auction, crikey, that was fun. And uh, we managed to come back with some stuff. Uh, it took so long going back and forth to the auction that I didn't think I had enough time to... Well, I had enough time. But I didn't want to go through the rebuild of this as well in that episode. So that's what we're carrying on with this time. So we've got all the repaired goodies. So we've stripped everything out, repaired what we could, got rid of all the stuff that didn't get repaired, and now we're back at rebuild moment. So here we go, starting to put everything back into this Bolt Hellcat. <laughs> no, no, I hadn't forgotten what it was straight away. Oh no, I hadn't, honest. Gov. Okay, I had. Alright, so let's start with some of the big lumps. For some reason it feels better to get the big lumps out of the way. Maybe it's that I feel like I'm Carting them around the uh, the workshop until then, but he has a very cross member. So get some of this running gear up and running. Bottom suspension arm. So we need two double wishbone things. We need four, uh, four. I can't remember if they're small. But I think they're small rubber bushings at the back. So four of each. So, double wishbone shock absorber. Oh, we need a battery in there. So that's two. Double wishbone shock absorber. There it is. Two of them. What did I say I also needed? Oh, I need two of them. Two of them. Um, two. Two. Oh, she told me how many of these things I had. Because at this point, I'd know exactly whether I needed these and things. But it's very annoying. Oh, rubber bushing is what I was getting. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So that's some of the stuff purchased. Upper suspension arm. Very nice. Zip. Yeah, lovely jubbly. And then it's bush time. Screw in your bush. No steering rack. It's worth noting. Uh, just screw in a bit of my bush. Last little bit of bush to screw. There we go. Right, so we need a steering rack. What about a front sway bar? Let's have one of them as well. For shits and giggles. Front sway bar. So then we need another front steering knuckle B, I think that was. Suspension arm. Not to be confused with the lower suspension arm, which obviously is completely different. Uh, upper suspension arm, we will carry one of them. Flop. Upper suspension arm. Lovely. Alright. And uh, shock absorber. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, front sway bar. Link B. From Swaybar. What was it called? Swaybar front end. Uh, B. Did I say B? I did say B. Awesome. Front wheel hub. On you, yep, yep. Alright, okay, and so this side requires one of them, one of them, and one of those. Good, alright, what else we got here? Uh, let's see, we should be able to put the crankshaft in. So that's a crankshaft V8 Oove. Crankshaft V8 Oove. 180. I thought they were expensive. Maybe it's the getting them in there. It's a lot of dicking them out to get them in and out. Crankshaft bearing cap. Was that the only one we had? Yes, it was. Crankshaft bearing cap. Two more of them. Uh, uh, there it is. 
awesome. Alright, oil filter V8 Oof. Uh oil filter. Oh. Oil filter V8 Oof. Let's get a fuel filter on it. <coughs> right. Okay. Uh what else can we put on under here? We can do the exhaust system. Um and the clutch flywheel? No, right, let's do that. Clutch flywheel. Clutch plate. Clutch plate. No. Swoop. There we go. <coughs> and the clutch release bearing thing of a jig. Oh, I haven't got the box out of the set, so gearbox V8 Ove. Big lump of metal, there we go. Lovely jubbly, and can't put a crankshaft on yet. Okay, front exhaust pipe V8 Ove and a middle muff. Front exhaust pipe V8 Ove and a middle muff. So require what's this? A rear muffler V8 O. So uh one cracking. Two, there we go. Leaf spring plate, leaf spring U bolt, so we need one more leaf spring plate. Two, three more U-bolts. Leaf spring plate. One, two, three. Alright. Oh yeah, another leaf spring as well. Uh, solid drive axle. Got all this. That's nice to see. And what have we got here? Rear shock absorber B. All that. Oh, let's put our small bush in. Don't forget the small bush. And he gets jealous of the big bush. Alright, there we go. Swing. And the same on this side. Leaf spring. Uh, leaf spring plate. And some U bolts. Holds it all together very nicely. There we go. Oh, and just finger that final bit of bush. Fuel tank. No. So, uh, engine. Fuel tank. The fuel pump we have, that's nice. Right, drive shaft. Oh, we got one of them. Swimming. That's what we're doing. Swimming in hooray. <laughs> right, that's the back end done. Uh, apart from the brakes. So, what do we need down here? We want to put the pistons and stuff in, so let's drop the engine. Or drop the whole car, in fact, not just the engine. That would be detrimental to the thingies. So, we need some engine stuff. We need pistons and con rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need valve push rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We need ignition rocker arms, that's what we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Right, let's go. Let's go, Daddy O. Pistons. Yeah. Pistons daddy -o. Uh yeah. <laughs> Alright, engine head, yeah. And bolt that mother in. Alright, and then I've got all these oh I didn't buy spark plugs, that was the other thing I could have bought. Let's get in a bit closer so we can see what we're doing.
You know another thing that would be nice? You could set this to rebuild mode where, or you know, you're just putting in 100% versions. So every time you click, like here, when I'm clicking to add this, I hold down right mouse button to, to, to say I want to put this rocker arm on. If it automatically selected this because I'm on a special rebuild at 100% mode or something, so I have to keep selecting it. That would be great. That would cut down rebuild times. Because at this point, I only ever want a 100% piece. So if I can have one, some way of it auto selecting that, that would make this nice and smooth. Oh, yeah, I already mentioned I didn't have any spark plugs. So let's go and get those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One for each of the explosion chambers. That's what they call them. Get out of the way, dipstick. Exhaust manifold. There we go. In you pop. In you slowly thread, I guess. That's probably a better description. Right. Engine and cover. Yeah, we've got that. Oh, the yellow and black reflections. Grrr. Grrr. Pre rendered reflections. Grrr. Right, that's that side. Okay, so. Yeah, we've got the engine head for here as well. That's good. Where's the bolts? Ooh, there. Yeah, the bolt. Alright, we're nice and close, so if you see what we're doing, he says it disappears away a bit. Valve rods. That's right. More excitement than you can shake a stick at. Despite your ability at stick shaking. Yep, and it just takes a little bit longer than you want for you to be able to click on the next one. It's all very, very tiny bits, but when you're trying to be as smooth and fast as possible, it just grates gently. Alright, there we go. It's not a huge issue, it's just, you know... Minor little frustrations. What else am I going to talk about, eh? I'll talk about bombing Syria, which I mentioned at the end of the last episode. It was a depressing subject, isn't it? Let's create more bad people by making them cross. No, I don't know what the answer is, but I don't think it's bombing them. Whatever. Bombing anyone's not that great an idea. It just creates more angry people. Right, so there we go. This isn't really the place we're talking about. Not what I suppose anywhere is, but you know. I don't particularly want to, I guess, is the, uh, that's where I'm coming from. Alright, so there's another yellow and black reflection. Make sure you make note of that. Because, you know, Right, a round air filter, one carb. Uh, round air filter, one carb. And the lid, and a bolt for the lid. Awesome, right, that's coming along. Right, we've got all this timing can nonsense to put in. Camshaft, no, it's really camshaft V8, ooh. Camshaft V8, ooh. And then we need a cam gear. I always try those, because I kind of assume that they might fix, but I don't think they ever do. And was that a timing belt? Timing chain V8. Timing chain. There we go. And then we can put the cover on. And then we can get some of this water stuff and that on the front. What's this an alternator? Alternator. So I need a water pump V8. Uh, water pump V8, oh, I probably need a water pump pulley. And I need this thing from the top, on alternator, that's it, I've already forgotten what it was. I bought an elf air filter, didn't I, I just remembered. Didn't need that. Never mind. Alright, so, water pump pulley. Crankshaft pulley, V8, oh. Right, so serpentine belt, so serpentine belt, V8, O. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Can't put the belt on yet. It's not got all its bits ready. There we go. Radiator fan, V8, Many bolts. And then a radiator, yep, empty that of guff, ignition distributor. Uh, ignition 
distributor, and then the rotor, and then the cap. Oh, we got all that. Look at that. Hang on, we want to put the little. I've got a clip so I can't put the wires in yet. Who da? Who da thunk it? There we go. Right, and then the wires, ignition wires, uh, V8. Ignition wires, V8. Okay, so that's the top of the engine finished, back of the engine finished, the sides of the engine finished. Uh, I'm going to put a starter motor on, I'm going to put an oil pan on, I'm going to finish off the uh, <coughs> the running gears. Right, so oil pan, yeah. Now we can put some oil in it when we remember, because I'm always remembering the oil. Mm -hmm. Starter motor. Awesome. Okay, let's put the brake servo and the battery in. Never mind. Right, let's do the. Oh, hang on. Wheel hub caps. <coughs> Running gear. No, don't want one of those. Wheel hub caps. Two of those, though, please. And we also need brakes. Brakes. Disc ventilated. Two of those. Two of those. <coughs> Only one Kelly Par as well. And how are we off for rims? Well, we've got at least three. Those stupidly yellow and black reflections. Wow, look at those. I'm clear you can see the rest of the room in the middle there. Yeah, that's incorrect reflections. <laughs> grumble, grumble! Right, so there we go. Oh, yeah, need another Kelly Par. Kelly Par. Reflective thing with jiggum. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's the brake servo. So around the end, we've got different sorts of brakes. Drum wheel cylinders, two of. And these things, got those. What are the brake drums? I don't think they ever fix. Two of them. And the both wheels, right? Awesome. So that, I think, is it almost done. Just a few finishing touches. Like, you know, doors. <laughs> Bonnet. Shit like that. Right, uh, so there was a battery and a brake servo. Brake servo. I was on brakes. Brake servo. There we go. Uh, what was the other thing I need to do? Oh, yeah. Oil. Mostly going in the hole. Okay, and then we can have a quick look at the list, which appears to be full. A quick scan, which shows all these items are in place. None of them are missing. So yeah, it's bodywork time. So this remind yourself what it is. It's an hell. It's an Hellcat <laughs> uh, body part shop, and we want just bits for the Hellcat, please. And we need doors and a hood. And we need a left wing thing, was it called? Fender. What do we need at the front? We need a bumper and left headlight. Front bumper, left headlight. Lovely jubbly. Trying to ignore the reflections. A trunk, right tail light and something like right tail light. A bumper and a trunk. So, there we go. Awesome. So that's the entire thing entirely. Entired. So there we go. 48 grand. So this is a what now? A Hellcat? Definitely have a Hellcat already. So we're selling this puppy. Uh, Port Hellcat, 50 grand. Awesome. Yes, please. So there we go. The rebuild of the Hellcat is successful. Let's move this over. I know it doesn't really matter, but... It kind of this is the project lifter in case we get any emergency customers coming in and requiring the customer lift. But commas, yes, that's right, the customer lift. 
Okay, so what have we got left in our inventory? Just an air filter, which we're not going to need for this either. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so next time out we shall strip and rebuild this for a slightly longer episode. Uh, I suppose I could always do a quick customer job, actually, to finish things off. If I'm feeling like there needs to be more stuff to happen. Uh, don't really want... Uh, nice to climb that. See if we get a nice quick job. Running gear... Mm, that could be quick, but it could be quite long. Here you go, gearbox. Let's do that. Yes. Alright, that's a fairly nasty colour. It's not terrible. It's almost nice, but it's just mm, a little bit sickly. Okay, so we're here to fix the gearbox. So, let's check the starter motor. Uh, let's do it from the engine area. Starter motor accessible after you've lifted it off. Right, let's get it up in the air then. Let's look around. Along. So it's a real wheel drive, I guess. It's got a drive shaft, so let's take that off. Let's not be in assemble mode. Oh, I've clicked on it. Okay, so the starter motor off, then we can remove the gearbox cover. The gearbox itself is obviously one of the three problems, because look at it. Well, it looks like an ordinary one because we're used to doing cars up, but that's just because the cars we're usually doing up are fucked. So that should be it, that's three pieces. Alright, so we need to purchase some gearboxings. One of those, one of those, and whatever gearbox it was. Yeah, well, no, I obviously don't want to put that one back on, do I? I just pull it. I just bought a pressure plate. Well, I guess not, but... Yeah. <laughs> I guess I bought one of the things I didn't take off. Who's the city boy? Right, it's a gearbox V8. So, gearbox V8. And if you're wondering why I'm not fixing these parts, I just can't be asked. Start motor. And the drive shaft. That's, there we go. Super long extension on the spanner. There we go. So there, there we go. I'll just stand underneath it and say, yeah, it's done. You can take it now. Woo! Good. Alright. Let's uh, just check the jobs again. It'd be nice to be able to leave some... Uh, some quick jobs to fill in time with. Anyway, until they come back. One of them's going to come back now. Um, come back next time for the strip and rebuild of the, uh, what's that, Hellcat, is it? I think, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Come back soon. Bye.